Okay, cool. Yeah. And if it if they're visible, I'll just put like a little word. Mm, okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Um, so there's this one that I do have some notes on. So. Oh yeah, that's fine. I'll... Hey guys. So for today's video, I show you guys my microblading experience. For those who are interested, please keep watching. This is actually my second time getting my brows microbladed. The first step is to get numbing cream on, which is very important. It is allowed to sit for about 30 minutes, so while we were waiting, my microblading tech, Jen, was just getting her station ready and her tools ready as well. For those of you that are not familiar with what microblading is, it's basically a tattooing technique which is commonly used for semi-permanent makeup. It's more commonly used for brows, but a lot of people also use it for hairline reconstruction and such. Now that the numbing cream has set, she now removes it and proceeds to make measurements and marks on my face. Throughout this video, you will notice that there is a lot of measurement involved. Getting the proper proportions of your brows with regards to your face and the rest of your facial features is definitely important. As you can see here, Jen utilizes several measurement tools to get the measurement right and marks it all across my face. Now that the general measurements and markings are done, she then proceeds to basically outline and pencil in the shape and the look of the brows that she's going to microblade or tattoo in. Once she does that, I get to see, approve it. If not, then we can adjust it to my liking. It's easier to do because it's still penciled in. Obviously, when it's already tattooed, then there's no going back. <laughs> I'm just gonna use this as a mirror. Yeah. <laughs> Can you put that in your video? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Very bro ready. Is this good? Or do you want it more? No, that's perfect. After the brow shape and brow design have been approved, we then moved on to going into the first round of microblading. I believe she also re-added some numbing cream after this layer. Jen, if you're watching, correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it's all good. Because the hair strokes were completed, Jen then moved on to shading in which she used a different tool for it. And basically it just allowed her to create a more defined look.
being an absolute master at what she does and a little bit of a perfectionist, um, we did constantly remeasure and double check the adjustments and the proportion of the brows. By doing so, Jen was able to achieve the most perfect set of brows and I'm super excited by the results. Here is the final product by the one and only Miss Jen Harley. If you can't already tell, I'm absolutely happy with the results. They are absolutely perfect. Here it is up close. It literally looks like it's real hair. It turned out so good. Thank you so much, <laughs> Jen. If you need your brows done, check her out. I'll put her, all of her information down below for you. Thank you! Thanks, girl. <laughs> Alrighty, so I'm finally home and I am just waiting for the rice to cook. <laughs> what time is it? It is 2.23 p.m. and I have not eaten anything yet. So I'm hungry. So while waiting for the rice to cook, I thought I would sit down and kind of go through some frequently asked questions about microblading. So this is like, I'm gonna zoom in. This is it fresh from the procedure. The most common question I get is if it hurts. It does a little, little, tiny, teensy bit. When you get prepped for the procedure, you get numbing cream applied to the area, um, but the numbing cream definitely helps. So when the actual procedure is being done, I describe it as you hear it more than you feel it. Um, it's almost like a little scratchy noise, especially when she goes in with like the blade, I guess. I'm, I don't know any of the technical terms, so I am so sorry, Jen. When she goes in to draw the hair strokes, um, if anything, you feel it, like the motion of it, and you hear it more than you actually like feel pain. Towards the end though, it kind of like has a little like stinging sensation, but it's not uncomfortable it's not painful another question that i constantly get is how long does it last my original microblading when that i did with jen as well i done in 2017 i think it was july the same time i would say i can't remember exactly but that was my initial one so we did my first session and we did a touch up a month ish later before before i left for hong kong um and it's lasted two years before it's faded in. Granted, towards the end of like the second, or at the beginning of the second year, I had to draw in a little bit just to get more definition, but it was there still. I just wanted to make it a little darker because it did start to fade after a year. But I lasted the whole two before I decided to sit down and get it redone. This next one is not really a question, but it basically is how microblading has changed like the way I do my makeup. I used to not know how to do brows at all. I mean, I thought they were decent at the time. Um, I would probably insert some pictures in the, on the screen here for you just so you see how horrible and horrendous they looked. Um, but the shape was all wrong. It was so difficult to get the right shape for my face because um, I had very sparse brows naturally to begin with. But when I first got my microblading done, it allowed me to get like the right shape. So even if it was starting to fade a little bit, I did have a guide um, as to where I need to draw in my brows this part of my face has foundation the second part does not so i please excuse my two-toned face i don't want to i'm gonna have to remove my makeup anyway before i eat um i just wanted to sit down while i look decent to kind of film for you other than that i will have to wait for my rice to cook 
and that way I can eat. I will be checking in probably tonight when I get ready for bed and then the next couple of days. So future Bridget here. I have decided to make this a two-part video and just show the aftercare and such on a separate video since technically as we speak I'm still on day five for healing so I haven't really completed the whole aftercare situation. So yes, I did not get to film a proper um, outro for this video I guess. So this would be it. I do hope that you guys enjoy this first one. Uh, look out for the second part of this video which is featuring more of the aftercare. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit that like and bell notification button and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye!